3D Deer Fawn Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be doing the first of the woodland creatures of my series and so this is going to be a five part series. So the first one today is going to be a deer, after that there's going to be a fox, a raccoon, a squirrel, and a skunk. These are all creatures that I could very possibly see, maybe not in my backyard, but definitely in the park that's about a block away from me. So I hope you like these and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos and the future woodland creatures as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an overlay on the nail with a very thin layer of light blue acrylic. The reason I want to keep this extremely thin is because I am going to be adding a layer of glitter and a layer of clear acrylic, so it's just going to get thick unless you make sure that each of those layers are going to be nice and thin. Otherwise, once you get three on there, it gets to be quite a bit. So then, as I said, I'm going to go through with a layer of clear acrylic that's got some glitter in it. And so this is the second coat. And so this one, the glitter are huge hexagon glitters that are sort of iridescent and clear and they're just, they're really pretty and they are very, they're somehow bold and subtle at the same time. Um, but then I'm going to add a layer of clear acrylic over the top of that that's going to protect that glitter when you start filing and it's also going to give this nail some strength. So now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be filing it with a 180 grit file. That's going to smooth out the surface and make sure it's the right shape and has proper nail form. And then I'm going to go through with a buffer, and that's a 240 grit buffer, to buff out all the scratches that that first file left behind, apply a layer of gel sealer, and throw that into my lamp to cure. So now I'm going to be working on my deer, and I'm going to start with a warm golden color. It's kind of a, it's a warm gold. <laughs> that would Yep, warm gold. And so I started with a sort of trying round a triangle shape for the head and then add an oval for the body that curves up into the neck that attaches right in the right neck spot on the head. And then I'm going to take my 3D sculpting brush, that one's a little smaller and makes uh, the little thinner lines. And I'm going to start adding legs. So the first two legs I'm going to be adding are going to be the hind, or not the hind legs, but the legs that are further away from you when you're looking at it. And so I'm just going to add those two, and I'm going to add the closer legs after a second once I add the tummy. And then I'm going to add his ears. And remember that deer in general have fairly large ears, and since this is a baby, his ears are going to seem to be a little bit more exaggerated. And also, I'm going to be adding his little tail. And if you wanted to make this specifically like a white-tailed deer or a black-tailed deer, you could add that. I just decided to leave him a little more generic, and so I didn't add any color on his ear, or on his tail. And so then I added some white on his tummy, and then I added some white eye patches around his, where I know that his eyes are going to be in a moment. And since my one eye patch was a little larger than the other, I'm just going to touch it up and make sure that they're about the same size. So then I'm going to be adding a little more acrylic up the bridge of his nose and between those eye patches just to make that area of his face stick out and be a little thicker. That's going to really help the 3D elements of this if you have the different planes that help define the shapes of his face. So then I'm going to be adding the other legs. So these are the legs that are closer to the camera. And so because we didn't do them before, the reason is because they cover up a little bit of that white tummy and so it's a lot easier to put the tummy down and then add the legs. So then I'm going to be adding the legs, and these legs are going to look like they're a little bit more to the right than the other legs. So like he was walking because they walk with their legs um, in sets of two, um, like that. And the hind legs have that little that little uh, joint in them, so make sure you give them a kink. Add a little bit of brown acrylic to his nose, and then on the bottom of each hoof. And when you're doing these, these have to be very small beads of acrylic. So what I like to do is I dip my brush just the tip in monomer and then I, I remove quite a bit of it on my towel before I grab the polymer because if you have too much monomer in your brush you're going to get a larger bead even if you don't want it. And then with a very pale pink I'm going to add just a hint of color in his ears. So now I'm going to be adding a few outlines with brown. I didn't want to use black because I thought that would be a little too intense so I'm going to be doing outlines a little bit in the ears and then separating his jaw from his neck and then the front legs from the back legs. And if you want, you can dilute your paint or you can be like me and finger paint to get rid of excess paint. And then I'm going to be adding the black in his eyes, a little smile, add a little bit bigger for his eyes, and then add some white spots on his back. And then a little brown outline on his tail and apply matte top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design and don't forget to check out the other designs in this series that are to come. They're all really adorable and I will see you in my next video. Bye!